Hello students, in today's lecture I will discuss about two-dimensional viewing and window to viewport mapping. Viewing can be defined as how we can view two-dimensional object from different positions uh, is basically called as viewing. So for example we are having an image and uh, we want to display that image on the screen. So what is happening we are selecting some portion of the picture and we are displaying that picture on the screen that is uh, on the device coordinates and the initially the picture that we are viewing it is on the world coordinates for example we are standing in front of hill and we could able to see the front view of the hill now what is happening we are taking some snap on a photographic paper now by seeing photograph we can visualize the front view of the hill so it is a kind of viewing that means we are uh, seeing something on the world coordinate system and we are selecting some portion of that picture and taking it on the display device okay now viewing something on the display device is called as two dimensional viewing the example is one type of scaling where we place a big size of picture to a small photographic paper so initially whatever we are seeing is uh, the picture which is on the world coordinates and the portion of the picture that we are uh, we want to display uh, is placed on the window and after that what is happening we are mapping that window on the device coordinate that is on the viewport this type of scaling is called as viewing transformation the actual dimension area is window and the photographic paper is called as viewport now a world coordinate area selected for display is called as a window an area on a display device to which a window is mapped is called a viewport so what is happening we are mapping the window that is on the world coordinate into a viewport which is on the display device now the window defines what is to be viewed while the viewport defines where is to be displayed now we have to decide in this case that the picture that uh, we want to display is uh, basically lie on the which portion of the viewport that means for example it is uh, the we want to display the picture at the center or at the top right position so this we have to decide and this uh, is also a part of viewing often windows and viewports are rectangles in standard position while the rectangle edges parallel to the coordinate axis other window or viewport geometries such as general polygon shapes and circles are also used in some applications but these uh, but these shapes take longer to process so uh, the window can be it can normally we are taking the window and viewport as a rectangular in shape because uh, uh, the rectangles could be processed easily it takes less less time it takes less time for the computer to process uh, the rectangles while if uh, it is a non rectangular window or viewport then certainly it will take uh, some extra time for processing the mapping of a part of a window coordinate seen to device coordinates is referred as a viewing transformation or window to viewport transformation or the windowing transformation transformation so all these th three words are similar that is the viewing transformation window to viewport transformation or the windowing transformation now window to viewport transformation is the process of transforming a two dimensional world coordinate objects to the device coordinates objects inside the world or clipping window are mapped to the viewport which is the area on the screen where world coordinates are mapped to be displayed so here you can see that the picture is initially drawn on the world coordinate system and we are selecting some portion of the picture within a window and this portion will be displayed in the form of viewport on the device coordinate now this type of viewing transformations are used for zooming and reverse zooming 
to walk towards the object is called as zooming whereas to walk away from the object is reverse zooming so here we are mapping window to viewport suppose uh, we are having any object uh, and the coordinates of the object are x w comma y w as shown in the figure and it is placed on the world coordinate system now we have to transform the set of coordinates to the given viewport that is we want to transform x w comma y w to x v comma y v which is on the device coordinate so this is the world coordinate and these are the device coordinates on the world coordinate we are having one window and on the device coordinates we are having the viewport now to maintain the same relative placement in the viewport as in the window we require that xv minus xv minimum upon xv maximum minus xv minimum is equals to xw minus xw minimum upon xw maximum minus xw minimum these are the dimensions along the x axis and along the y axis we are having yv minus yv minimum upon yv maximum minus yv minimum is equals to yw minus yw minimum upon yw maximum minus yw minimum so to maintain the relative proportions of the picture we want to uh, write uh, this point in this in the form of this equation so that this point could be mapped on the viewport now we are solving those equations now solving these expressions for the viewport position xv and yv now solving the previous equations and uh, we could able to find that uh, xv is equals to xv minimum plus xw minus xw minimum into sx and yv is equals to yv minimum plus yw minus yw minimum into sy where sx and sy are basically they are the scaling factors and we have already seen whenever we are uh, changing the dimensions of any picture then it is called as scaling either we could able to increase the size of the picture or we could able to decrease the size of the picture so scaling factors sx and sy could be defined as sx is equals to xv maximum minus xv minimum upon xw maximum minus xw minimum and sy is equals to yv maximum minus yv minimum upon yw maximum minus yw minimum where sx and sy are scaling factors so now we can convert any object from any window area to any corresponding viewing area using the above equations here if we provide the same value of two scaling factors that is if sx is equals to sy then the object will be displayed proportionally otherwise it will be either stretched or contracted if we are keeping the values of sx and sy are similar then there could be a uniform scaling and if the values are more than one then certainly it will zoom the object or it will stretch the object but if we are keeping the value less than 1 then certainly it will contract the object or it will reduce the size of the object